<laughs> you know, we are laughing here uh, with the crew and the team as we are recording this. We, we we just been taken back to the days of when we were young. I mean, um, I remember the days um, in the early 90s when I used to go to school. Ankibela emoto sa si tumukul emoto kam kul mukulo otokri ingane mga bisiskolin and you'll be at the back and you and squash and okay in the back and it toal and it be baning and basa ko no malu mevele malu kshin ingazi eh utol kapu ne venture na kan zo toal venture ni ingane zibe ningi and you know for us when we were young that was fun. You know, we got excited when we were younger and we'll get to school and we'll be ingani that came from privileged families, which um, sometimes the privilege is grand, it got to be a grand because I remember a friend of mine is a spoon also a um, diligence. He he came from a predominantly well-off family and yeah now it says a PC experience you give a motor malume because good boy says a drop of a box is calling why not now the excitement is as it's all at the same scene gun it's pull us a job all the motor and we would be so excited and he actually kind of felt like he wished he had our lives so i want to tell you right now today good to get sometimes lame pillows are banyan batway khali life now but khali yeah so don't ever think about your life is not worth it or you are not good enough anyway a very very beautiful sunday greeting my name is fortune guanyana your best friend on the other side and today we bring you another episode of the rise and grind also i wanted to give a big shout out to everybody who's got themselves a copy of this book this book is transforming people's lives not only that i know next week there's going to be the book behind the words and the, my book is it's been nominated yeah it has been nominated as one of the best books when it comes to uh, personal development can you imagine remember what i said we took a radio show we turned it into a book and now it's a show in a form of a vlog thank you very much for the support and love also okay, make sure you are part of the awards the book behind the words let's support literature let's support but hey back to my topic for this sunday what mode of transport are you using for your success? For example, song get corner last year con, kona bahamba pants inge nyau, kona batati stimela, kona ohaika imkwa kwenye bamba live to go tracki, kono muni right now who is getting out of bed, having a beautiful view of the sea, uzo pumenge na wiposhi ake kamna ndi pegem seventeen. We all use different modes of transport and the mode of transport that you use determines how quickly you get to where you are going. In life, we all want to achieve success. In life, we all want to become better. It is October and October is Transport Month KwaZulu Natal. Not only KwaZulu Natal, in entirely South Africa. Shout out to the Kaka CFM team also okay, that is out on the roads, Gama Freeway, Gama Roadblock, showing love and appreciation to the motorists of South Africa. And also see ticket. Now go drive my truck before it too. And this is a main to make sure that we follow the rules of the road. Now to get the motorist as driver a motor ngane. Let's also be patient with one another and also don't forget Guti. Wonko Muntu Kukona La Jake but it is a new jaha if you don't make it to where you are going. So it's very important to arrive alive. So now I want to talk about the mode of transport that you are using for your success or to get to your success. You could have a story about when we were young, we used to take a motor zo malume, see a school in a bany babetati passi, a bany, who van jalo in a simple way. Because they are using the wrong mode of transport. What I want to say to you this, this afternoon is the level or the mode of transport that you use will determine the amount of success you will gain. You know, Mpilwen, if you learn to participate, you can abandon who are emotionally driven. And sometimes your emotions have a way of letting you down. Yakumbola Jemina, in my own family, uh, there's one of our family members who is very emotionally driven. They are extremely talented. But by a share shook tigila. Mega wa potega who vele kala tigila funuki vapa. Mkape now we low moon tempilwen. If you hit a setback, if you hit an obstacle, you are ready to give up. I wanna say to you, Ungabu muto emotional, but more importantly, 
put direction more important. Kuko nugu to hambenge Porsche, ukichi mengu akeni or hambenge BMW or Mercedes, all the top cars. Kwa tu tolu guti direction au nae. No munto hamba nge basu ya guazu guti e gine fige kala nawe. Genga yu guti direction au nae. So what I want to say to you, there's two things that are very important. Number one is your emotion. Guard your emotions. Unga bi umuntu o very emotional if you are in business, if you are a professional, if you mishonga be tu sebenta guopi. Guard your emotions because your emotions determine who will be willing to work with you. I mean, I've seen people walk away from me because etu mundo, I don't like the way you react when you angry. The question is, have you ever been angry to a point which you push opportunities away and when I'm born? So next time, if your emotions get the better of you, even if you talk to a guy, who may be angry or call it for drama, so let him be so busy. Then I say, can you get to my vumela my emotions? Zako agvimbe from him to mele loya. Sometimes we've seen people lose business deals because upa njwa my emotions. I've been in a situation where I had to sit down in a table with another company. Beng bize lo go tisizo wen zumsebe zitizene. And little did I know, ba bize lo muntwe yi enemy to me. Wa ti mengen angabele nga sugu mangama ngeinyawu. Ngati I will not do this deal with this person. And guess what? Lo a muntwe nga sugu mangabalega nga mbiza nga enemy. Wa ti ne se itata yonki dili enzi wo uye na yetwa. Nga shweba mina. Thousands of rents because give umele and my emotions get the better of me. Mkape nawe, you are one of those people who has allowed their emotions to get the better of you. Don't allow your emotions to get the better of you. Unga vumele and my emotions akukube wana control lao as your mode of transport to where you are going. Number two, very importantly, you need to find a way to use direction. We have one more twenty. Go back legi logo to see seventy. Say I'm a GPS. A GPS is back legi logo to hear. Chair logo to obey. Be. I find that dialer lasts travel as better than map con. Now there's GPS. It's all in the power of your phone. You just type where you are going. Umbo zomko lo tinas maningi. Si phone zindo. But as now I'm a goals. Seventy some of goals work as your GPS to where you are going. Where you are going is not running away from you. Where you are going is waiting for you. So understanding your own life, your destiny will never run away from you. If you are called to be great, you will always be great. If you are called to be a boss, if you are called to be the leader in your organization, you will reach it. The most important thing is to use your goals as the direction to where you are going and then the last one and most important one this one will really hit home it's important to live your life a clean clear wind stream yeah you heard me right men i be ushayeli moto i get into fiongo jango guti wind stream in god goba ugwazu bona lao ya kwa and then pilo ni zetu i wind stream serves as a character yako the people you keep around you. Some of us are not successful, not because success is too far from us, but it's because we have the wrong circle of people around us. Check your circle. Check the people that you are traveling with to the destination which is your success. Sometimes you vinja lwai born. And Lababandu, funu understand the You need to conquer that spirit of small mindness. Musuk vuma uguti itolgate ibe it dead stop. Em kwaka in mau travel aguna matolgate. Etolgate uyama is kashana. Then you continue. Abanya bantu ba mile matolgate forever. Sebe kulumi ndaba na banta ba wrong. Getena gwe na kumbola to keep your windscreen clean. I windscreen yako determines and tells you where you are going. And then the last one and most important one. Forget about what is in the back. What happened in the past. That is why na se moto eni moto zonke o naga i win screening calling gaga, but is bugo sok buga ge move asinga ane singaga. It's because what's in front of you is more important. 
get what is behind you. You can never control what has happened, but however, you can control 100% what is yet to happen. Get we causing goals in my wife show to my wife, right? Get we causing goals in my cleanly windscreen. Get we causing goals the same way in a simple and yako. Get we went about mistake if you've mastered your emotions. Get we went about mistake. My way has the direction of where you are going. So it's very important to October. I'm using these analogies to make you remember. Mosem kwa kwenye mtala sekai. Mpoa gate. Baba. Mama. Remember, you are not alone. Kuna manye ama road users. And it may look at it. Si bambisani. So that our roads are better. Ama fuwe tabala kegelwe. Ama family members. Si tikbona condolences. To the rest of us who are still alive. Who are always on the roads every day. Let us make sure we arrive alive. And with that, come on, let's do our affirmation. Will you say with me these words and make sure that you mean each and every word. Say, I am blessed. I am empowered. I am motivated. I am a cut above the rest. I have what it takes to reach my dreams. I will arrive alive. My life is important. I am powerful beyond measure. I will follow my goal without cease. Thank God for yet another chance to start again or to believe in my dreams. Man, oh man. Thank you very much for making sure that you tune into the Rise and Grind. Hey, I'll see you in the future coming episodes. Don't forget to make sure, Butige, you follow, you get the book, Rise and Grind. Your life will never, ever be the same. And hopefully next week, we'll be announcing, Butige, we won the award. <laughs> All right, man, have yourself a blessed Sunday. See you next week, sharp, sharp.